Good fine day to you, YouTube. I have this bottle of alcohol that I've been sipping on. This is a uh, Georgia peach flavored whiskey from these fine folks. Not a sponsor. It was a gift from your favorite son who's filming a badass documentary with me here in town. Pop the cork. Oh, that's a wonderful sound. So I want to do a review of this here, uh, this here alcohol here. I grab my my eight ball glass. And I've been sipping on it the last couple of days. It's pretty fucking good, dude. That's a nice, beautiful color. I love whiskey. It's my my favorite, my go-to. And of all the hard liquors, uh, whiskey's my favorite. That's good stuff. Uh, let's go. Right off the bat. It definitely smells like... It smells like a, a good whiskey. With like... You can't really smell the peaches in it. It just smells like good whiskey. Let's have a taste of it. It's got a bite to it. A little bit of a bite. But you get that peach taste. got a bite but you got that peach taste purchase locally so I got my stepmom Tannis a Mother's Day gift but a week late but I did show did got my stepmom Tannis a bottle of peach wine from Stella Rasa and two gift cards She really appreciated that. One was for the Cheesecake Factory. The other was for Outback. I, uh, Outback's a cool restaurant. I like their Bloomin' Onions. They're pretty good. We don't have a Cheesecake Factory here in town, but you can order a cheesecake from their website, and they will ship it to you. It's like a UPS order, so... Ring. And the quote on my stepmom's card was, life is better with cheesecake and wine. <laughs> yeah. All my trolls were calling me a piece of shit, son. And my stepmom, Tannis, didn't even want anything for Mother's Day, but I'm like, nonsense. Nonsense, YouTube. If I get my dad something for Father's Day, trust and believe. Do the same for my mom for Mother's Day. In fact, yesterday I spent all day carving wood with my dad. My dad likes to make wooden goblets while I make the wands. And it's just a great way for me and my dad to spend time without, like, fighting or, you know. Then we, we had to do a dump run, so my dad took his pickup to the dump, and we unloaded the back of the pickup and got rid of a bunch of junk, basically. So that was, you know. I've known that I've known that pickup since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? It's a beast of a Ford pickup, dude. My granddad had it. And then he sold it to my dad. Now my dad has it. You know those uh seventies, early eighties, big old Bronco Ford pickups with like the square headlights? Yeah, you know the ones I'm talking about. That pickup is a beast, dude. It's got like two big old gas tanks in it. That's how you know it's serious business. Mm. But now my YouTube trolls are trying to harass your favorite son because they're jealous losers. It's not going to work. 
they're fans of my videos. My trolls were telling me to went sold his tattoos and all kinds of fucked up shit. And I'm like, I'm doing none of that. Okay, he's a fan and a friend of mine. So, like, what the fuck is wrong with people? That's what I want to ask. But honestly, just ignore my YouTube trolls. They're such fucking losers, dude. And if I did not rule my trolls' lives, they would not go out of their way to text me and then, like, like the hugest pussies hide their real numbers behind burner numbers. One of my loyal spitter, spitter spies has infiltrated their Discord and the subreddits, and they brag about harassing me on, the, on my cell phone and how they, they change their burner numbers every day. They'll have, like, a list of numbers that they use through apps and stuff. And I'm like, that's pussy shit, dude. You know, I don't go out of my way to fuck with my YouTube trolls because, quite honestly, I have better things to do with my life. Like, my loyalty to Ozzy Osbourne and just doing my thing, you know? And the fact that they go out of their way to fuck with me and hide their real numbers shows they know what they're doing is wrong and messed up. And I'm like, here's the best part of it, YouTube. I don't got to go out of my way to harass my trolls in real life. I'm already inside their head, dude. Otherwise, this is why Cobra wins. Otherwise, you wouldn't text me or make stupid YouTube poops trying to make me look bad. I go off on YouTube about how much I fucking hate sickos, and then the trolls will take the video and switch the audio around and YouTube poop it to make it look like I said something else, you know, and it's just sad. Like, I hate sickos more than I love Ozzy Osbourne, and that's just never going to change, you know what I'm saying? The trolls are like, you're going to die alone, Cobra. And I'm like, I got a news flash for my YouTube trolls. We all die alone. So you just accept it. And you make the best of what you have in life. That is some seriously good whiskey. And if you are 21 and up, I would highly recommend it. Um... I could mix this with a lot of really tasty beverages, like some cherry Dr. Pepper would be really good with this. Cheers, folks. When my trolls die alone, just like I do, I'm going to reflect back on my life and say, I did it. I built my clock tower dream house and became an international worldwide famous rock star. That's the goal, at least, to be as famous as Ozzy Osbourne someday, you know. And to build my clock towered mansion on the outskirts of good old Casper, Wyoming. Why here? Because Casper's home. Land out here is cheap as fuck. And plus, if I built my clock towered mansion on the outskirts of Casper, Wyoming, I could legally shoot my guns and nobody would say shit. I have like a Hitcock 45 style shooting range behind my clock towered mansion. And I'd make the glass on my house, dream house bulletproof so in case any of the bullets were to ricochet, you know. If I got like 20 acres of land, you know, you can put, I could put my shooting range a safe distance away from my house just to be extra safe, you know. Just gotta keep doing my thing, YouTube. Keep making music. Keep producing videos. When I first started YouTube, I had no idea that by the time I was 32, I'd be at almost 60,000 subscribers. So that's pretty freaking sweet.
My stepmom Tana sent me a, a photo of her holding her Mother's Day present and smiling. And it was a nice photo of my mom being happy. So I posted it on Facebook. Like, oh, look at that. I captioned it with suck it trolls. I do not go out of my way to be a fucked off, inhuman piece of shit, but only when my trolls do it because they're assholes. I'm only a complete fucked off psychopath to people I don't like, to be honest. Generally speaking, I'm a good person, or I try to be, you know. And look at the color on that whiskey. Isn't that just pretty? Yes, sir. So. Yo, I did a review of this whiskey on the documentary that I'm filming. And it's good whiskey, dude. It's Georgia peach flavored whiskey from Leopold Bros. This is a, uh, what is it? 30% alcohol by volume. Uh, from batch number 2207. Delicious. And that's the sad reality of it. My trolls will do and say anything to fuck with me because they're desperate. Like when I posted the video with uh, the hair fiber in my hair, one of my fans sent me a, a container of that, that hair fiber that you shake in your hair and it makes it look fuller. And I was showing that off on YouTube, and people were like, what are you doing that made your hair look like that? I'm like, for a temporary fix, it works. <laughs> and my trolls are making fun of me for it, too. They're like, and I quote, good job, you fucking retard. Oh, you gave the trolls another thing to make fun of you for. And, I'm, and my response to it was so perfect, too, YouTube. I'm like, that's because I own my YouTube trolls' lives. If it were if it were reversed and I still had my full head of hair and my trolls were going bald, I wouldn't make fun of them, you know? I wouldn't because it's just hair. Who gives a shit? You know? I get signed by a major record company or win the fucking lottery, I'll just get hair plugs. Real talk. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, living hard, living fast, you know, that'll do it. And uh, baldness runs in my family, unfortunately. Like, it's just hair, dude. I honestly don't give a fuck if I'm going bald. And the fact that my trolls accuse me of spray painting my head is hilarious. And I'm like, see, that's just the thing of it. All I gotta do is put some hair fibers in my hair and then post a video of it on YouTube like, hmm, look at that, my hair looks thicker today, huh? Ah. And my trolls get so triggered by it that they have to make fun of me for it. Which then once again shows that I win. And my trolls are losers with no lives. They'll try anything and everything to make fun of me, and then they go out of their way to do it. It's like, wow, dude. The only thing sadder than my YouTube trolls' lives are the children's lives of St. Jude's Children's Hospital. But cancer research is improving every day, and those children are given a fighting chance to survive. Which I think is awesome, you know, because kids should not be in a fucking hospital dying of cancer. They should be coloring outside the lines of just being kids, you know. That being said, I agree with that one singer, or not singer, Bleh. What was it? I think it was Paul Stanley from Kiss. I forget which which KISS member said it, but like, 
He, he basically said, just let kids be kids, dude. You know? Let kids be kids. Fuck's sake. 